All right, good morning. We, uh, we want to talk about our content objective today. The uh, question we had was how we can explain how a dimmer switch works. So before we do, let's review a little bit about a basic circuit. Let me give ourselves a little power source here. Down on the bottom, we'll add a little base with the light bulb. The light bulb, of course, is our resistance. When we connect that up, the light bulb will light up. And we've completed a basic circuit. But we can change that a little bit. Before we do, let's figure out what we have going on here. Let's assume later on I'll do a little demonstration. I've got two D cell batteries hooked up in series. So that would give us three volts of potential. And the little light bulbs that we're using, and I will show you something with this later. That little light bulb there has a resistance of 10 ohms. Okay. So first, let's talk about how to find out the voltage, the potential that we have at the light bulb, and the current flowing through the system. This is the only part of our circuit. It's a simple circuit. The voltage across the bulb is going to be the same as the voltage here. We know we have three volts here. And if we recall the equation, voltage is equal to current times resistance, then replacing my values of 3 volts and 10 ohms, I can solve for current, and the current right now in our circuit is 0.3 amps. Okay, let's play with this circuit a little bit, though. Let's add a resistor to it. So I'm going to come right up here. I'm going to put in a resistor. Just a generic does nothing resistor. And let's make the resistance of this 5 ohms. That's going to change a little bit about what happens in our circuit. So the first thing we want to do is find the new total resistance of the circuit. They are wired in series, and so our total resistance will be equal to the resistance of the first plus the second our total resistance is now 15 ohms. Again, result, or going back to Ohm's law, and replacing the values 3 for volts and 15 for ohms, I can solve now and find that my current is equal to 0.2 amps. So the current has gone down a little bit because of our extra resistor, and of course that's something we've talked about before. But that also changes the potential at our bulb. Now that we know the current down here is 0.2 amps, we can solve for voltage, which is I times R, and our voltage is now only 2 volts. That means the voltage drop here is 1 volt, the voltage drop here is now 2, and our bulb, well, our bulb got a little dimmer, didn't it? All right. So what happens if we change that resistor again? Let's come back here and put in a 10 ohm resistor. If I come back over here, our total resistance is no longer 15. Our total resistance, 10 and 10, is now up to 20. And we now have a... Uh, so our current is now down to point. 1.5 amps. Again, just dividing 3 by 20. We're down to 0.15 amps. And coming down here and multiplying our amperage times our resistance gives us a voltage now of only 1.5 volts. And again, our bulb gets just a little dimmer. So as we change the resistance of this resistor, we can change the voltage that makes it to the bulb and the current flowing through the whole circuit and change the brightness of the bulb. Now we want to apply what we learned today using this board and how that's going to give us a practical application for being able to dim a light. So today in your experiment you learned that the resistivity of a wire had to do with, with the resistance in it based on the diameter of the wire and the length of the wire. And hopefully what you learned was as the wire got thinner the resistance went up. And as the wire got longer, the resistance went up. 
Well, it's kind of hard to put different thicknesses of wire into a switch, but there is a clever way to change the length of a wire in the switch. So be sure you have all this noted, and I'm going to erase this for a moment. When we look at the inside of a dimmer switch, there's a coil of wire that is shaped like a circle. And that coil of wire, the electricity flows into one end, but does not actually flow out of the other. So I'm going to take a wire and hook it up here. This is the power going in to that coil. Now to get the power out of the coil, this is a conductor, and in the middle we have a little paddle that swings out and touches this coil of wire at some point. And the electricity will flow through that paddle into the middle, and from the middle will flow back out to our light. If I were to put a knob on the middle of this and twist it around, as the paddle went further around the coil, farther from the end, it increases the length of the wire that the electricity needs to flow through. And as we learned earlier, if I increase the length of the wire, the brightness of the bulb will change because the voltage of the bulb is changing. And that's what's happening in a dimmer switch. It's a very simple device. And I'm going to demonstrate that here for you right now. Like I said, I've got a 3-volt battery set up, two D-cell batteries in series. And I'm going to go ahead and use the thinnest wire on this board right now. The thinnest wire does give us some decent resistance. But as you'll notice, the bulb still, if I just put it down here near the end, lights up pretty good. So here's our bulb glowing. And all I'm going to do is take my hand, I've got my hand on the alligator clip, and I'm going to just slide it down the wire. And as I slide it down the wire, you can clearly see the length, the brightness of the bulb is decreasing as I go. I've increased the length of the wire, I've decreased the brightness of the bulb. And that's a dimmer switch. All right.